another short little video got the controls all put on here so the next step is actually moving this indoors uh, for a little bit and getting everything under here all wired up so it looks like the command module in there doesn't it so actually i got one more little tiny thing to do uh, up here which is get that pick guard cut out uh, for that hole basically for the cover um, although i may just wait on that just a little bit and actually get it all soldered up and everything beforehand so may just do that take it inside i did get the uh you really only supposed to do one coat of the ODs, but I went ahead and did two coats of the ODs and got it all buffed out. And she is exquisite. I don't know if you can tell or not, but she is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, can't wait till the neck comes so I can get the pickups in it. And I only did the top because uh, I didn't want to roll this over and get some scuffs on it, actually. So I only did the top. I'm going to take it upstairs and do a little bit of Odie's oil on the back while this sits on a pillow. Uh, and let that sit there for a little bit. Uh, and maybe I'll actually play guitar. It's going to be a hot, miserable day today. So, uh, <laughs> anyway. But, yeah. Kind of stoked. Got my uh, little guitar port down there. This is actually a really good one. They actually snap in. Uh, some of the old ones kind of fell apart. These ones, uh, I put one of these on the uh, other guitar I have. Really, really good. So I don't mind it. The cord just kind of hanging out the bottom. I don't have to worry about it. You're going to have to stomp on that cord pretty tough uh, to, uh, to get it to pull out of there. If you notice, I didn't do the bottom with the Odie's oil yet. I let it sit overnight. Um, harden up because that's a real hard oil or wax. Uh, Anyway, she looks nice. So, so next up uh, is uh, wiring, uh, and I need to get a hold of Warmoth, find out where the hell my neck's at. So, <laughs> there you go.